as a as a young boy, I just remember the the drugs coming in and out of my house. I remember seeing my mom uh, do things that you know little kids usually don't see. By the time I was seven, it it got so bad. My mom started to get sick. My dad was he was in and out. Um, they weren't they weren't together. And I remember one particular day, I was at school, and I had this uh, this weird feeling. I should go home. I didn't know why. I knew my mom was sick, and I just wanted to check on her. I just remember walking into the house. I'll never uh, forget that day, just the, um, the sound of the door opening. I remember walking up the stairs. It felt like it took forever. I remember walking into the room, and I saw my mom on the floor and uh, went up to her, started to shake her, and she didn't move. And and I knew the the drugs and all the, the activities I I saw uh, in my early days eventually took her life. I went through life searching, searching for a uh, something to fill that hole in my heart. I went to church, um, but I was so young and I didn't understand pretty much anything. So I decided to play sports. I had so much anger and pain and sadness and emptiness. I like to, I like to say the, the football field is my first sanctuary. I just remember going there and for a few hours a day, I was able to just take my mind off of the death of my mom, just take my mind off of my situation, uh, the area I lived in. I wanted to, to be a hero, you know, for my family. And I felt like that was my, my stomping grounds for me to be a warrior and just show, you know, my family, my talents. I know once I, once I got to high school, I wasn't sure what what I lived for, I knew uh, football and the basketball and track helped me in some way. By the time I got to my senior year, I had uh, nine varsity letters. I was the captain of the, the track team, captain of the football team, captain of the basketball team. We went to state in basketball. I set the record for the 100 meter in track. and. Uh, in football, it was great. I remember one game, I had six touchdowns, and after the game, everybody was so amazed. I remember going home into my room and I just cried. I don't know why, I just was so depressed and sad and no one knew it, and, no, and I didn't know why. I just could think about my past and how I came up, but in the Rose's eyes, I had everything, and I, and I tried to tell myself I have everything, but I didn't really have everything. I was so depressed my senior year. The end of my senior year, I started to get uh, images in my head of me taking my own life. Um, I, I even developed a plan to, to stay home one day while everybody left and went to work. I remember that morning I, I slept on the floor and I hid under some covers. So if my brother or his wife came in to, to check on me, they'd see that I was gone. And I just remember thinking about it, okay, this is the day. I knew that I wanted to, uh, in my life, I didn't want to live anymore. And I, I just couldn't get up. I literally stayed on the floor under my covers for about 10 hours. So graduation came, they, they kind of forgot about the suicide episode and the depression I felt. And uh, everyone looked at me like I was a success story, but I still hurt inside. But I, you know, I put on a smile and I just chose to, to try to fight, fight my way through just to be better, to make people happy so they wouldn't worry about me. My first year in college, I get a call from my brother. He tells me my, my grandmother passed away and I asked my friends to let me out of the car. It was cold that night, snowing. I just remember walking back. It was a long walk to my apartment, just crying and thinking, why? Why am I, 
what am I searching for? I didn't know. And I had the Bible on my desk. The first time I opened it that year, I started reading. I turned on some Christian music. I didn't know why, I just felt led to, to do that. And uh, that's when I started to feel a little different than before. I told myself I wouldn't go to any more parties. I, I changed the people I hung out with. And I, I said I'd try my best on the football field. They wouldn't let me play. And I attended a two-year two college. I played football, and at this school, they let me play offense. And I thought once I played offense, okay, I feel better. And I started playing offense, and I had some success, but I, I didn't feel better. I was like, I was shocked. I didn't know what, what the issue was. I started to develop a relationship with my dad, just a better relationship. We had talked. He became my best friend, and he had kidney uh, failure from his past, and he just had health issues. And we, neither one of us was sure how much longer he had to live. Uh, one night in my room, I just started crying, crying and praying and uh, crying out to God. Why? Why? Why is my life like this? Uh, why? Why all these things have to happen? Why is my dad going to die? And just right then, I felt like God was telling me uh, my dad would be healed. Today, my dad is healed. He he's going to church. He's one of my best friends. I heard the the gospel before. I knew God sent His Son to die for our sins, but I never embraced it. I've never uh, just truly believed in the gospel of Jesus, that he died and rose just for my sins. And I, uh, I felt that grace that night. And I, what I longed for, I knew I found it in Jesus Christ. And I know after I cried out to God and just truly accepted the gospel of Jesus Christ, there was more. I just felt like I had purpose. My hope was now found in Christ, and I just wanted to use everything I went through and share that with the people that God uh, transforms if you let Him. He renews your mind. He creates a, a new heart, and He created in me new desires, and they were no longer worldly desires. It was all for His glory, and today I just live for the glory of God. As a young child, I felt uh, like I had no hope. And today my hope is uh, found in Christ. My name is John Gangs, and Jesus is on demand.